Oh, Stan, do you see what happens when you're a goody good and you want to help everyone? You get thrown into a three on three battle all the time. <laughs> hey there, everyone, I'm Palkifanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time, we went into a temple to save Mary's friend Ruti, and Stan made a huge fool of himself. Yeah. <laughs> and today, we are gonna fight these three men. Manly man men. I don't even know, let's just fight them. And we have our first boss battle, and I will say, I really like the boss battle music in this game. And oops, I'm not. There we go. <laughs> I didn't want to switch my targets. <laughs> anyway, so this battle is actually very easy. It's, it's supposed to be the first boss, but uh, really, when you now have three party members, this is a breeze. You see, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to be a boss. Re retreat! How did you just run off? <laughs> They're all talk after all. Hey, this guy might actually be useful. Um, Stan, is that your name? Yeah. I guess this is the second time you saved me now. Thanks, Stan. Oh wow. Huh? If it had been for you, I would have We would have been killed. Now, what did I do to deserve this outpouring of gratitude all of a sudden? You saved our lives. Mary, you should thank him too. Stan, thanks for your help. But I really haven't I'd like to thank you somehow. Can you come along with us to town? Harry, you ask him too. Oh my god, this is sad. <laughs> Stan, come on, let's go together. Traveling is fun with more is fun with more people. The more the merrier. What? Oh, uh, sure, I guess. Terrific! There's an exit to the south. Let's go. Wow. I can read you like a book, Rudy. <laughs> and wow, I actually took. Some damage there, huh? I guess I should use a green gel then. I have plenty of them, so why not? Anyway, so now Rudy joined the party too, and her skill is... Yeah. Pretty non-existent. Now, I could talk about Rudy right now, but... I'm not gonna do that. Quite yet. I... Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit with that. For... Uh, special reasons. <laughs> Anyway, so if you go south here, you will actually exit this place. So before doing that, let's go the two other ways that's here. And in that battle, Stan leveled up and he got a new skill. Kick attack, which is actually a very good skill. I would like to have this one against the soldiers that we fought, but eh, I don't really care. I'm, I don't really want to level grind that much, so I, I decided if I get it before the boss, well, that's fine. Anyway, in this chest we have a flame. Okay, a flame. That's weird. No, not really. The flame is actually a, f a disc, a aura disc, engraved with the image of fire. And when you go into Stan's equipment here, you see at the bottom we have a slot that's called disc. But actually, it's not Stan that's equipping the disc. It's Dimlos. The discs are for your Sordians. And when you equip it, you see that he gets a little power boost. But not only that. When you equip a disc on a Sordian, the disc will also give you a spell. And what spell do you get from the flame disc, you might ask? Fireball. Yeah, it's not really that helpful right now, but uh, Stan gets stronger, so... Yeah, it's, it's worth it for now, but later on... Not really that helpful right now, but later on we will get some insanely good discs. <laughs> oh, come on. Holy bottles, where are thee? I miss thee a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, another treasure just here. that got a rapier in it, which is a, a pretty good weapon. I'm gonna give it to Ruthie. Just because, once again, I don't want to take away Dimlos. Yeah, pretty good. So now Ruthie will actually do 
At least a little bit more damage. Would be nice if she had a little bit more armor though, but uh, that's my fault. Is there anything up here? I can't remember. Massive level up and skill gaining there. <laughs> both Ruthie and Mary leveled up and they both got a new skill. Mary got power missile, which is a more powerful missile sword. Okay, that's kind of lazy, but okay, I'm gonna, I'm not complaining. And Ruthie got search gold. Yeah, she, she goes down to the ground and she searches for gold. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off because it is pretty useless to be honest. It shows that Ruth is supposed to be a, well, sort of a thief, but the skill is pretty damn useless. Anyway, the last treasure chest in this place got a green gel. Okay, that actually works nicely because Rudy got pretty beaten up in that last battle. There we go, green gel. Nice. So now, we finally want to get out of here. Oh boy. I was thinking about, you know, take, making a lot of progress here and a lot of story stuff after this, but all those battles, sheesh. Oh well, at least I... We're gonna, I'm gonna cut them out. <laughs> anyway, oh come on game, be nice. Ah, I don't like the encounter rate in this game. Please just let me get the heck out of here. No! Hey, this is getting annoying. Come on, get out of here. Thank you, finally. Oh God, here's your passport. If you lose it, you won't be able to re-enter re Saint Gold. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, thanks for the tip. It's a little too busy here. Let's go somewhere we can sit peacefully. And where does she go? A freaking bar. Yeah. <laughs> peacefully. My ass. My ass is more peaceful than this. Oh, oh god. No! <laughs> that came out wrong once again. What are you doing now? Are you joining the army or something? Not really, no. No, I'm not planning to do that. Then, what are you going to do? I don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hmm. Awkward conversation. <laughs> By the way, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the village of Liana. Liana? Where's that? Is it Fitzgold? Fitzgold? What? 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 Something wrong? That means you're, you're a country boy. Why are you calling a country boy? You, it's Y-O-U. <laughs> About the only place worth visit visiting in, in Fiskal is Neustadt, right? Liana, where the heck is that? I never even heard of that place. Hey, enough about me. Where, where in the world were you born, Miss Am? Better than you? <laughs> Nicely. Why, I, I was born in the good family in Singold. Don't put me in the same boat as you. Oh, yeah. These two are freaking meant for each other. <laughs> okay, that's enough on that subject. Can I see your sword? What? Can I? Um, well... Uh... Never mind. Can you hold this sword? This? Go ahead and speak, Atwhite. How do you do, Stan? Wh who is it? Hmm? <laughs> and Mary's just clueless again. I thought so. You can hear Atwa's voice. At what? That sounds like... Dumlos? Hmm. The swords know each other. That sounded weird. <laughs> I was right! You're a Sordian user! What's going on? Tell me, Dumlos. In, sh in short, we are both swords created in ancient times. However, we are different from ordinary swords because we are sentient. But unless the user's neutral wavelength is the same as ours, we can't even communicate with the user. Does that mean the user is chosen? Chosen? Oh, you haven't changed a bit, Diblos. You are so good at fooling people. <laughs> oh, whoa. Not bad. Sh shut up, Bad White. Hey, Diblos? Looks like you've been had. <laughs> oh, well. His mind was simple and easy to read, but more than anything, he seemed like a good person. Gah. Wait, wait, Stan, you, you really have a special talent. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to hear my voice. 
I know I'm interrupting, but... What? Do you want to work with us? Work? You don't have any plan. You don't have any plans, right? It might be better for you to travel with us instead of being alone. Well, that, that is true. What shall we do, Dimlos? Why are you asking me? I would feel safer if Dimlos was with us. I wouldn't object if you want to join them. Then let's work together. But I won't take part in any crimes. Of course. What do you think I am? Well, you got a skill called Search Gold. Oh, that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> she could be a hobo following, following that that skill. Hmm. Well, think what you like. At any rate, we're in business together. Oh, can you give me that white back? Uh, sure. So we have another Swordian, huh? Well now, I'm going out for a while. Where to? I'll ma make arrangements for our lodging. You wouldn't want to stay in our, in our room, would you? Uh, of course not. Besides, I wouldn't want to be bothered by someone like you. Who would bother you? <laughs> oh man. That was a good move, Atwhite. I just said the truth. I'm not helping you. All you want to do is be with that Himblos or whatever, right? <laughs> Himblos? <laughs> His name is Dimlos. He's an old comrade. You wouldn't understand. And yes, Atwhite or Atwhite or whatever is actually the only female Swordian. And uh, by saying that, I guess I already spoiled it that there are more Swordians, yes. But if you watch the intro, it's not really a huge surprise. You're not really a young girl in love or anything. <laughs> I don't want to hear that from you, you money-obsessed maniac. <laughs> What? You don't know a thing about me. That's right. I can read your mind because you won't open it to me. Y you know, I could just throw you away right here if I want to. Do whatever you like. <laughs> I'm interested in finding out what what'll happen to a defenseless girl if he doesn't have a sword in. I'll get you for this someday. <laughs> I'll look forward to it. Oh, wow. Those are awesome together. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, but leave her alone. They do this often, don't worry. I see. They argue, huh? She actually argues with her sword. <laughs> why don't you cut better? <laughs> okay, that was bad. By the way, why do you set out on your adventure? Me? I can't remember. What? I don't remember. My memories only begin from the time I first met Rudy. Isn't that called Amnesia? The Dark Descent. No, no, no. That's a great game, by the way. <laughs> Don't you remember anything? This. What's this sword? I don't know why I have it or who it belongs to. Before I knew it, I had this sword. This is the only connection to my past for me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have pried. Don't worry about it. It's kind of liberating not to have any memories. Well, actually, I believe that. I mean, you don't need to worry about things you did in your past. <laughs> Besides, everything I see, hear, touch, and taste, everything is new to me. Ooh, that's not bad. Is that right? You don't understand if it happened to you. That's uh, quite alright. <laughs> that's the last thing I need. <laughs> You're right. Oh god, she's back. <laughs> I got our rooms. Great. Well, I'm going to call it a day. We'll leave early in the morning tomorrow, so don't be late. Well, he is the Tails main character. He will probably oversleep. <laughs> I know, I know. See you later, Stan. Wow. Interesting group you got there, Stan. I'm going to bed too. Very interesting group, indeed. And I love the resting theme, but I always do that. Stan! Stan! <laughs> of course, he overslept. Stan! <sighs> wake up! Stan, wake up! <laughs> hey, I'm telling you to wake up! 
Oh, uh, good morning. Good morning. How much longer are you going to sleep? <sighs> I don't believe this. You're a zombie in the morning. Huh? What? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just wake up. <laughs> oh, I have to move. Never mind. Come on, let's go. Go where? Oh, give me a break. I told you yesterday. Don't you remember? No, uh, not at all. <laughs> I can't believe it. There's a village called Harbents in the northwest. We're supposed to give that cane to a guy named Walt. Oh god, Walt. I just hope his last name is not White. Ooh. We are gonna break some bad! Awesome. Do you remember now? Uh, not really. No, you actually did not tell us. <laughs> Rudy, I don't think you told him that. What? Oh no, Mary, you don't remember either? I don't forget a thing. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> this is awkward. <clears throat> well, listen up. We're going to Harmon. Oh, yeah, sure. But before that... What? We'll exchange the lens for money. Lens? Yeah, I haven't really gone over that yet because we haven't really got, gotten a chance to do that. Let me guess. What? Do you want me to tell you what lens are? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Well, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah. I don't believe it. You're so out of it. Hey, sorry for being a country boy. I know your pain, Stan. Okay, I teach the little country boy about Lancy Wetsy get changed into money. Wow, don't need to be a douche about it. Hey, cut that baby talk out. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, never mind. Well, fine. It's settled then. Let's go. Uh, okay, she didn't tell us, but okay. Now, if you go into your inventory, you will see that... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I thought maybe I lost it. We have a old cane here, which is the thing that we want to give to Mr. Walt White. <laughs> ah, I wish, but no, it's just Walt. Oh, lame. <laughs> In uh, Fitzgold, so... Uh, yeah, next time we are going out town, and we are gonna go to the next town. And you are gonna see what is probably one of the worst world maps on the PlayStation. I'm not even kidding, it is pretty damn bad. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.